Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Picking up here shortly after our last episode, early morning of March 9th, heading down the road in West Point, heading towards the bridge. We're going to be dismantling the car wrecks on that bridge uh, to prepare our exodus from West Point and moving on to our next challenge, which is going to be the mall. Probably still going to be uh, several episodes before we get there. Because uh, there is uh, another town uh, just over the uh, bridge that we're going to have to check out. But we will want to make sure that this road is as clear as possible. This bridge up here is as clear as possible. Opting not to take the car just so we don't attract too much unneeded attention. Got ourselves a garden fork here. As our weapon of choice for today. I'm assuming there will be a car wreck here. There usually is. And yes, we do see some wrecked cars. So I've got seven propane torches. Uh, ooh, actually a few of these are empty. So we'll only be able to dismantle a few. We'll have to pick and choose a route. Let's see what is going to make the most sense here. Probably the left side so far. There's quite a bit on the right. And we have a little bit of a group of zombies there. There aren't any cars obviously on the railroad bridge, so that's always an option too for us to move across. Let's clear out these zombies first. Alright. Should probably be careful of the uh can they climb over this? No, they can't climb over that. I don't know they can. They definitely can. And they also do their little dash. So yeah. Need to be a little bit careful here. Still a few more up here. There are two cars that aren't destroyed. They do look kind of banged up though. But we'll check them out. Those ones will probably be able to drive off the bridge. If we put a little bit of gas in there. And charge up a battery or two. There's a few more at the end there, but that's far enough away. So on this side we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars to dismantle that are on the bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's gonna be best for us to do this side, I think. And we might be able to well, I guess it's kind of 11 and 11, because we'd have to dismantle these two as well. Hmm. What to do? I don't even know if we have enough propane to dismantle all these. Let's do this side. Because we, we can get around not doing these two here and still... Just drive around an angle to get in here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and dismantle. We'll see how many of these we can get through. And then we can scavenge some more propane tanks from barbecues in town. And more metal sheets for our containers back at the tower. And more XP as well. Maybe we'll get our level 8. No, probably not. That's a ways to go. We're only halfway there. Yeah, doesn't give us that much. It's progress towards it, though. 
So I saw him switch out one propane torch. Maybe we'll have enough. Oh no, maybe not. Don't have very many. We got four left to do. Yeah, I don't think we'll have enough. Might be able to do one more after this. Yeah. Okay, so we are out. Let's toss that in there. We'll just put everything into one. See if we can squeeze out one more, maybe. Oh, can I pour any more into each other? Pour into 25%. Pour into 28%. All right, so those ones are now empty. And we do have enough to do this one. So very close. Almost got it. Oh, actually we do have enough. By combining all of our scraps. Oh, welcome, surprise. And yeah, that's about empty there. Cool. Oh, I didn't think we'd get there. So I do have uh, another bag here. So we might as well grab as many of these uh, metal working supplies as we can. Take them back. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to take all this if we three bag it. Let's equip that primary. Might be able to grab all this stuff. It's quite a bit of uh, material dismantling at level seven. I don't know if we'll have enough fuel with that little tiny bit that's left to do maybe one more container back home. All right, we're full. Okay, I'm gonna run this back. Uh, we'll cut back at the tower and we'll see if we can make maybe one more middle container with all this stuff. All right, it looks like we might actually have enough fuel left to do one more crate. Yeah, we do. So, where can we put it though? Might have to move this one sheet of paper. Oh, no, no, it won't let me do it. I have to get the welding rods. All right, metal crate. Yeah, we can toss one more up there. Good. Well, now I'll have enough room for all of our guns and ammo. I haven't actually moved that stuff over yet. I've just moved the uh, bags into here. So I will organize all this later. Or no, was this supposed to be for our metalworking stuff? Hmm, I guess I still need more containers for our metalworking. Ah, uh, anyway, I'll sort that out later. Uh, we need to go find some more propane so we can fill up some of our torches. We're done with the bridge for now, but we will need more propane for later on. So let's just dump all this stuff on the ground. Add to our piles of metalworking ingredients there. Got a few metal sheets, the large ones. Only three in our bag here. All 
I don't think there's any others. No, just the three. So, enough for another crate at least. Okay, let's uh let's see, let's drop our bags. We don't need all these to go pick up some propane torches or uh, propane canisters. Put our helmet back on. So what we'll do is we don't have to bring the propane canisters back. We can just uh, refill them as we find them. So we'll keep that and let's put away these two. All right, uh, it's 150. We're a little bit tired. We're a little bit hungry. Let's have some of this stir fry. Our rotten ingredient stir fry. And let's have some coffee too. Wake ourselves up. Still got lots of water. Uh, we have moderate exertion. So let's sit down and rest for a moment. Okay, good. And carrying a heavy load. Let's just dump this stuff over here. All right, let's go get some more propane. I should probably check the map instead of wandering around town. So bear with me for another moment and uh, we'll figure out a plan here. You know what, there are actually a lot of uh, propane barbecues in West Point. There's one down here at the end of the road. I couldn't see any others though. A lot of uh, charcoal barbecues. Uh, there'd be some more. I think there's a little bit of propane left in the uh, tank we found at the gas station. And then there'd be some in the probably the garages. Oh, where was it? Was it down here? Maybe it's one street over. Yeah, garages would, I guess would be our next best bet. Did we find any when we were doing that? Um, uh, all those uh, garages and the sledgehammer a couple episodes back? Not sure if we found any there. Should just be at the end of the. Uh, road here. We got quite a few zombies. So I think it's this, yeah, right there. That backyard. So. Let's work our way through here. It's a fair number. Might be more in that house. Check West Point map, but not annotated. Riverside map, but not annotated. Oh, yeah, there are quite a few in that house. They've gone back to the uh, barricaded house. Pretty sure, we, yeah, we cleared this one out. We cleared that out a while ago. get some of them to come out here. There we go. Looks like our garden fork is almost broken. We get ready to switch out to the pipe wrench. Oh, but there is another zombie here with another spear. And a hunting knife spear at that. We'll get it in a moment. 
Oh, that one was uh, eating the other zombie on the ground. Yeah, there goes that spear. Okay, let's find this hunting knife. Put that on our back. And switch out to that. Oh, there's still quite a few in there. Oh, I thought I thought there was only like a half a dozen or so. Gotta be careful behind us. Let's actually move over here because there's another group back there, isn't there? Oh, scratch. Or at least the sound of a scratch. Let's see if it actually did scratch us. Nope. Another another bit of protection from our clothing. here. Did we lose any protection anywhere? I don't think so. I think our clothing is still fine. Our super high stat level clothing. And they've gone back to Eden. A lot of oh, and there's still more. Jesus, how they all fit in there? They must have been climbing through the uh, windows too, making us work for this barbecue. Still two more. Yeah, they must have been climbing through those windows. Just make sure we didn't miss something in here. Grab both of that for our future recipes. And that rat. I think we grabbed everything else though. Must have. Just coincidentally filled up again with zombies. Okay, hopefully that means that the backyard is clear. And for the most part it is. Got a couple over here. We're gonna need a little bit of time to fill up our torches. Okay, let's do this. So let's remove that. And refill as many of these as we can. I have a feeling we won't be able to refill too many. Yeah, I think just two. Yeah, two per tank. Okay, so that's all the uh, readily available propane. Let's head back to the gas station. Because there, there should be a little bit in there. In that one. And then we'll have to check uh, more garages for the rest. But not a huge priority for today. Two propane torches will last us long enough. Not gonna bother killing those right now. We are a bit tired. I 
Let's just do a quick run down to the gas station. And we'll see if there's any other large groups over here. Those ones back where we came from would have been from uh, uh, the shotgun noises. This one may be empty too. We have filled up from it a couple times. Nope, there's still a little bit there. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, not even enough to fill something up though? Let's unpack one of these. No, not even enough to fill one partial amount. Nope. Okay. That one's junk. Okay, let's get back uh, to base then. We'll rest up. And maybe go for a drive over the bridge. Once we kill this one. There we go. Okay. I'll get back, uh, we'll sleep, we'll cut back in the morning, and uh, we'll take a car across the bridge. Maybe one of the police cars? I do have a heavy duty battery that we can uh, charge up at base, so yeah, I'll do that. We'll cut back in the morning. Just waiting for this car battery to charge. It's the next morning. Uh, I've got 87% here, so another hour or so. I should have done this while I was asleep, but I forgot, of course. All right, 100%. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's remove our battery. This is a heavy-duty battery. So we'll take this along with a couple gas cans. Over to the uh, police station and the police cars that are down there. Sounds like we've got a couple zombies outside too, so let's transfer this stuff over to our backpack. We'll go take care of this before we head down there. Sounded like at least one. Just hide it in the corner. no one else in the area. Okay, let's sprint on down to the police station and we'll grab one of the two police cars. We'll give our sports car a break. I think we um, already hotwired both of these. Yeah, this one's hotwired. It's in really good condition. Yeah, very good condition. Has a little bit of gas in there. Uh, let's see, engine loudness is 54. Let's check this one out. Whichever is more quiet, we'll take. So 54 versus 56. All right, we're taking this one. I may not even have had to, uh... No, I do. This battery is dead, so it's a good thing we have a, a spare here. Oh, but, uh, what I don't have is a screwdriver. Is there one back here? No. Uh, screwdriver, screwdriver. I guess I'll have to go back and grab one. Not sure where I'd find one over here. Don't have our usual backpack on us, that's why. Alright, let's quickly 
grab one. One of many. Actually, only four. Uh, we're a bit peckish. I do have some food on us. We'll finish off this bowl of rice. And then in our fanny pack, I've got a bag of chips and some sunflower seeds. For later on in the day. Alright, sprint back there. We're very close to leveling up our sprinting. Less than 400 XP to go there. Ooh. That was a bit risky. I probably shouldn't sprint and jump over fences. I don't want to rip my clothing. Okay, let's swap out this battery. And we'll install... This one, I guess? Is that the right one? Must be. He's pulling it out of his bag, so... That's the right one. Okay, and let's just drop this here. We'll charge that one up later. We'll add some gas. We can even drive this to the gas station and fill it up completely if we wanted to. Okay, there's one, and... There's the other one. 10.30 a.m. Let's clean up our inventory. Oh, I still have some stir-fry here, too. Alright. You know what? We might as well throw this in the back. So we'll probably just park this at tower after anyway. Oh, hello. Not quiet enough. They must have all been in the police station. Or that or across the street in the woods. I did pick up a new hunter knife spear. Check these. Those are our broken nightstick from a long time ago. <laughs> that was risky. We haven't done that in a while, so I wanted to try it. Uh, we did uh, hear the scratch again, but again, no damage. Because of our ultra pageant clothing. 100% protection almost across the board, except for our hands, our, and our shins, and our groin, and I mean our left and right thigh are pretty much 100%. Only a 4% chance of actually getting scratched with that stuff. It's a cop. This jacket's probably torn up. Okay, let's try this again. Smoke, as long as there's not tons of them coming out. Around here, I think we're fine to just push on. Oh, probably don't want to go down there. Across the Z carpet. Probably not a good idea. This doesn't handle the best, surprisingly, for a cop car. Expected more from it. And 
It does seem to still be quite loud. Let's just get it across the bridge. It doesn't tip like the McCoy pickup truck that we had a long time ago. So that's good. Should probably clear all those corpses. Alright, let's keep them off the road. Also, always end up underestimating how far it is to the next town. I always feel like it's just around the corner up here, but I do believe it is a bit of a drive. So let's just prep this first area. There's probably quite a few on the other side of the bridge now from our car. Fair few down here. Oh, and we got a police officer too. I see another gun. Or a shotgun. So we will snag that. With a double holster. Another JS2000. Cool, cool. Let's call him over to us. Okay, let's take a jog back across the bridge. We'll move these ones just off to the side. Yeah, as long as we keep that side clear, we can drive down that side. Yeah, not that bad, really. Thought there was going to be more. So let's quickly move these over now. Just make enough room for us to... Drive by without damaging our wheels and suspension. This last thing we want is to be ripping across here and lose control. And smash into uh, one of the guardrails. Alright, that should be pretty good. Okay, cool. Push on up. We're a little bit hungry. Let's dig into these chips. And we'll have another beta blocker. Yeah, we'll get in the car. I was just going to jog it, but what the hell. Let's drive up to the corner. Which is right here. And that's quite a few. We could use the uh, siren at some point to draw zombies and uh, do a burn along the highway. That might be a, a good idea. That's quite a few coming. Quite a few indeed. Put 
Gerald handles it with poise, for the most part. Except for that one flub. Okay, let's clean up these stragglers. Call them over to us. Another police officer. Must be the highway patrol. And we're actually... This is the first time in a while that we've... That we're heading down uh, new highways for the season, so... Uh, potential for bandits. Bandits and survivors. Or... Attempted survivors. It's been a while since we've uh, seen either of those. So I wouldn't mind finding a bandit group and getting some more guns off of them. Uh, as we make our way up to the mall over the next several episodes, we will be stopping off at the hunting lodge and shooting range. That's in between here and the, the mall. Uh, this is a bit much. Especially with a bit of a panic going. Let's take another pill. Oh, gotta keep an eye on our spear here. It's getting kind of low. Let's actually switch out weapons here. I did see one crafted spear on a zombie up at the, uh, where was it? Was it over here in this group of zombies? I wonder if we should switch out to that. Where was it? Was it in this group? Kitchen knife. Pretty sure I saw one. Some construction clothed zombies too. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so we'll pick that up. Swap out our uh, our other spear. Well, we'll we'll take a quick look and see how exactly how low this is. It's pretty low. Let's pick it up. Switch out to that when we need to. Alright, first corner, clear. Well, except for that group. Uh, we do need to clear those out if we're going to be driving back and forth. They will come to the highway. Okay. Oh, but we are also a little bit tired. So, rest time. Uh, sit down. Looks like we can also forage here. Yeah. Forge right by the highway. Right, short rest. Start off by picking off these lone ones. Be cool if you could, um, if you had like high enough mechanic skill and uh, maybe like a mechanic electrical level ten or something, uh, you could craft a some sort of train cart or maybe a mechanical and metalworking level ten, like one of those um, push lever trolleys to go on the tracks. 
That'd be an interesting way to travel around the map. We're a good chunk of the map. I'm hoping we'll find um, a zombie with an axe or something. Guns and ammo which would be our best bet because I didn't see much for weapons sticking out of zombies. I saw yeah one hunting knife. That's it for that group though. Starting to panic a bit. Just a very slight panic. Nothing Gerald hasn't seen though. Alright, there's one left there, that's fine. Okay, let's take a peek down the road. I've got a few here. Let's call them over. And we will switch out to our knife. Quick and quiet. Snag that back. Another big group there. Uh, what do we got for zombies in there? Uh, I don't see any weapons. We got one duffel bag down here. Um, you know what, I think I might be fine for the progress we've made here so far. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take one more beta block, we'll finish this group, then we'll head back. So we're starting to get tired too. Tired, exhausted, not a good combo for fighting with a spear. Alright, we're good. Okay. Let's head back in, drive back, attract the hordes, inevitably. It's a good little chunk of highway clear, though. We've done good work today, Gerald. Except for that. You didn't do Actually, you know what? Let's pick up this stuff. Since we have a car. I did a little bit of damage to the vehicle. Uh, you saw the lights on the dash flash. When I bumped into that wrecked car. Let's just dump all that in. Oh, I hear someone. Maybe I should dismantle those. So I don't risk 
ramming into them. Oh, wrong one. So a couple more middle large metal sheets, two more. So that gives us a total of five. So yeah, we can make two more crates back home. And that should be enough for all of our weapons. Plus uh, probably most of our metalworking materials, other metalworking materials. All right, cool. Good, good. Oh, uh, before we leave here, let's check these cars. See if there's anything worthwhile grabbing. Yeah, you got the key for this one. And I'll have to go. Can I squeeze through there? Yeah, I can. Oh, first aid kit. A regular tire for standard. Probably mark that. Some foundation makeup. Okay. We'll mark that on the map that there's a tire to come back to here. That's yeah, empty. Hop, hop. Oh, actually, come over here. Off to the side. Oh, that was close. A little glitchy. Okay, back in. Let's go. We did good. Yeah, I thought more of these zombies would have followed us all the way up to the, uh, the bridge. Uh, more than enough here, though, for us to come back with a, an axe, maybe, and clear out before we do make it an official push. And we will park this. Actually, we could probably drive it down the alley. Eh, maybe not the best idea. I forgot there was a huge pile of zombies right there. Alright, maybe not the smartest move we've made. Okay, guys, I think that'll do it for this episode. We made good progress in our future plans of heading to the mall. Next episode, uh, maybe we do the uh, the siren and uh, try and do some sort of burn on the highway. Sacrifice one of the cop cars. Let me know what you think down below, though. Uh, we'll come up with some sort of plan. That does it for today. Um, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Leave me a comment if you are a new subscriber in the last uh, couple weeks. Uh, hopefully you are also uh, watching our RimWorld playthrough that we started recently. Uh, and uh, if you have any other suggestions for other games that you'd like us to uh, play on the channel, I'm always a uh, game to try out something new. Um, yeah, I feel like we should be doing something else here, but... Um, I can't think of what, so we're going to cut things short at uh, 50 minutes, so not quite our usual hour-long episode, but hopefully you enjoyed nonetheless. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you all later.